can't buy. For everything else, there's an ass whooping waiting. Anyway. Yo, what was your thought of Class of Champions, Dion? It was cool up until that very last match between Roman Reigns and James. Oh, my God. Thank I'm- you. <laughs> Thank you. You are Ray, what did I tell you? Roman what Ray. did I tell you? What did I tell you, Ray? <laughs> say it. Go ahead. Say it, Father. Say it, Father. Say it. <laughs> His opinions of wrestling. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, go ahead. The- <laughs> no, hey, say, say, say it again because I, I feel like it wasn't clear enough for the audience. <laughs> like I said, it was cool up until that very last match. And then here's my beef. Here's, no, 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 no. Here's pause, my beef with that pause, match. Pause, here's my beef with that pause, match. Pause, the fight pause, is. Pause. And father, what did you what? say after that? Say after what? After the first time he said that. Shittiest opinions in wrestling. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you ain't you ain't you ain't met my friend Billy. Go, but go okay. ahead. Go ahead. Anyway. <laughs> here's my thing. The match itself wasn't bad. It's the ending that pissed me off. What? When he threw the towel? It's just, it's just like really, we we spoofing off of Rocky now. That's Nigga, where that's we're so WWE. Small. They did the same shit in AEW. I don't watch AEW. Shut they the lost fuck me. up, nigga. No, you don't understand. <laughs> AEW lost me after that stupid Mimosa match between Chris Jericho and who was that? Kenny Omega, whoever the fuck. Uh, uh, um, Orange, Orange Cassidy. Cassidy. They, Cassidy. Orange Cassidy. Whoever. That was they before, that was way before that match, though. I don't, I don't care. AEW lost yes, me the do moment care. they It was did before. <laughs> <laughs> what are you Ray, talking about? Ray, I got, I got the name of one of the wrestlers. I got the name. Of, hold up, listen. I got the name of one of the wrestlers involved in that match wrong. That just shows you how much I care about AEW. But anyway. <laughs> so I don't know why. AEW is just putting good content too. AEW is pretty fucking good. AEW is pretty fucking good. Except for except for my man Evan Bourne. Shout out to Evan Bourne. That uh, (laughs) box is fucking (laughs) good. Evan Bourne is wrestling again. Oh man, that was the worst debut I've ever seen in my life. (laughs) Evan Evan Bourne is back. Wait a minute, Evan Bourne is back. back Yeah, bro, he's back. He's in the back of the trash can now. (laughs) <laughs> that nigga fucking trying to do a super so he came out right it was a, it's a battle royal he came out everyone's all hyped we're like oh shit it's uh, Evan Bourne aka uh, Matt Seidel or whatever you know we all hyped yeah. and everything this nigga goes up to the fucking top row cause he's about to hit his shooter stop press and the nigga slipped <laughs> And fell out the ring. <laughs> and busted his ass. He didn't fall. He busted no, his ass. Die. I blame. You know what? I blame that on ring rust. I blame that on ring rust. No, but no, no. It was going back rust, to though, the the I... rope was actually slippery. Like it was dead ass slippery. But it was just funny as shit. He almost okay, but... died. He like literally almost died. That shit was <laughs> that shit had me gone. I was dead laughing, bro. I was high as shit too that day. I was done. I thought Evan Bourne died from that RKO he took. Yeah, that that match right there with Randy Orton was literally the last I I saw of Evan Bourne. <laughs> Why do you but think that nigga changed his name? He fought like, a yeah, great match. His name. That was the but, highlight of Randy Orton's career. That and the Seth Rollins one, because yeah. <laughs> them the ones who popped off the most. That was oh that. That RKO on Seth Rollins at WrestleMania. That's the greatest RKO ever. I don't fuck. I don't know about that. Um, I don't know about Evan that. Bourne. Evan, that Evan, Evan Bourne, Bourne was so fucking crazy. It was the timing. You know how you know how how accurate he had to be to catch him once he flipped. <clears throat> yeah, Randy Orton even caught him. Randy Orton was still laying down as he as he connected with that. I won't give you that. That's even harder. The but it's the, <laughs> the pop off is better with Seth Rollins. That's what sold it. The pop off. It just, it just yes. looks better. He it forgot better. to pin him. He forgot to pin him, and the referee's like, "You got to pin him." And then he pin him, and then he went back to pop it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So he snap. Yeah, he snapped on him real quick. Like as soon as the RKO, but you got to admit, like, what the was, fuck you thought this was? You that, know, was that, that was beautiful. The stand up into that. The stand up into that, and. Actually launched Seth further into the air and then RKO him. That was beautiful. Yeah, it was beautiful, but you can see it coming a little bit. Just a little bit. 
I honestly, when I first watched that match, I thought Seth Seth had him. I thought Seth had him beat. <laughs> I will never, I will never put my money against Randy Orton as long as he does the RKO because he can do it, it from anywhere. It, it for me, it depends on. It kind of depends on who he's fighting. Let me say something. The last time I bet against Randy Orton, he RKO Jeff Hardy. That's it. <laughs> that was the last time I swore on everything I love. Randy Orton was done. And he spent out of a fucking twist of fate and RKO Jeff Hardy. From then I on, I, was like, I will never, I will never ever count out Randy Orton. That one was also great. Like, that come one. on. I remember that. He spent out of that so fluent. Like, it was just like, ugh. And then, and what about the one where he, he, damn, he caught fucking CM Punk with one off the fucking ropes. I think one of my favorite ones was with the Big Show because he popped off on that one. Yeah, that nigga, he did the you fucking bring... Super Mario leap. He popped off. Oh, I remember that. Oh my god, I remember you, that shit. I mean, if you you, the, you put down was, a big motherfucker like that, you, you gotta pop off. That. You gotta show your ass. I mean, yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I agree with you there because nah. So the thing I love about that RKO in particular is because Randy Orton fucking leaped. That nigga didn't jump. He leaped and RKO'd that nigga. And he dropped like a sack of potatoes, to quote my boy. <laughs> it's, it's Big Show. Big Show, what's Big Show? What did Big Show weigh at the time? Because he's like steadily lost weight throughout his career. Big Show was like in the like 450s or something at that point. You got to get a run to start to drag his big ass to the ground. Nigga, I'm that's, sorry. That's still, I, that's, that's <laughs> damn near 500 pounds. You are a Thanksgiving meal away from 500 pounds. Cut it out. Right, like, right. Thing. You got to get a run to start to drag him to the floor. I'm sorry. You you need a run to start for that. <laughs> uh, any last words for Classic Champion? <laughs> hey, I want to bring up an old wrestler that was some shit that we all knew that was going to be some shit. I just want to bring his name up. <laughs> Lance Jones. Who? You remember, what's his name? It was Landry Jones or Lance, something like that. The Undertaker's protege? Yes. Uh, oh, bitch, that. old bald nigga. Bitch, <laughs> yeah. even, uh, Nathan, Nathan Jones. Nathan Jones. Yeah, Nathan that's Jones. his name. That's his name. Fucking Nathan Jones. <laughs> yeah. I know um, what he was talking about. But hey, I, was trying to hype him up. I just I just wanted to bring up old bullshit. I just wanted to bring up old bullshit. <laughs> about that. I, I, I couldn't place the, a face with the name until you brought up the fact that he was supposed to be Undertaker's understudy, protege, whatever the fuck. Yeah, he was the worst. I'm sorry. You can never have a. You can never be an understudy of the Undertaker, like unless you're Bray Wyatt. Oh. Like that's the only. Sad because he on. had to move. Hold on. Since we, since we're still on the subject of wrestling, can predictions for NXT Takeover? I don't know the matches. <laughs> okay, Johnny. Okay, Johnny Gargano versus Damian Priest for the North American title. Who you got? Damian Priest. Damian Priest. All right, we're in agreement there. Io Shirai and Candice LeRae. I actually think Candice is going to win that. Yeah, I was, I was going to yeah, I think they was going to give it to Candice. I think. Because Io Shirai has been champion for a while. Io's um, been champion for, I think it's been three months. It's, it's, I feel like it's longer than that, but you probably. I feel like it's longer than three months. It's, it's, it's been like three or four months. It feels long. What? When was that? How long ago was that takeover event when she beat Charlotte Flair and Rhea Ripley in that triple threat match to win the title in the first place? Yeah. It was how like long ago was that? It was like four months. Yeah. Ago. So like so yeah like four months. So yeah, I don't know. Good. I think I got Io winning that. I got Io winning that. Honestly. Yeah, but Rhea Ripley only held the title for like not even two months. Yeah. It was like, like a month and a half. Yeah, it was like a month and a half, and then they and then they forced her to drop it because her damn her damn visa had expired. So they forced her to drop the title to Charlotte. Oh, that's why. Yeah. Damn, girl, work on your visas. I mean, COVID be like. Yeah, COVID. Uh, (laughs) Let me see. Now this is a big one to me: Kyle O'Reilly of Undisputed Era versus Finn Balor for the NXT title. Finn, Finn Balor is gonna retain, and I think Adam Cole is gonna betray Kyle O'Reilly. Yeah, I'm gonna one of those. I got I got Finn Balor retaining, but the betrayal of 
um, Kyle O'Reilly, I'm calling a no on that. I can't wait to prove you wrong, but anyway. Don't you always? <laughs> I still um, I think, think your opinions are shit. <laughs> I was about to say, at this point, he's going to go against me simply because it's me. No, no. your opinions are shit. Nah, nah. <laughs> Who's the greatest wrestler of all time? That's a hard. That's a hard question. No, it's not. It's not that fucking hard. It's easy as fuck. Oh man, shit! It's it's the Undertaker. I mean, yeah, he's my he's my favorite, but like he is the greatest. Man, because I I can't disagree with you, but I also want to say Chris Benoit. Oh Absolutely my god! Absolutely not. Oh my god! Get the Cut fuck out of here! Ray, <laughs> stop! Ray, Get the fuck Ray, out of here! Man. Yo, <laughs> come on, man! Get the Ray, fuck stop. out of here! Stop, oh, y'all, Stop, y'all don't, y'all not I agree that he's a great wrestler, but the best? Is no, he's he's definitely top five. No. If that's the case, Dane, Dane Malenko is better than him. <laughs> Arm bar. Come on. Arm right. bar. Mm. Nigga, I prefer Kurt Angle, actually. I think Kurt Thank Angle's you. a better wrestler. I, I was just about to See, say it was a toss-up for Kurt- Kurt- those two. No, Kurt, Kurt Angle's Kurt. definitely a wrestling Chris Benoit. Are you kidding me? I mean, he is an Olympic gold medalist. With a gold hey, freaking freak 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 neck. neck. <laughs> you got to include that. You gotta I was include just about that. to say that he broke his freaking neck. Come on, man. <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thank you, Q. See, somebody boy. that has good opinions around here. Shit. Come, come on, man. I mean, I, I just agree with you, too, on Kurt Angle. Goddamn. But <laughs> what? What, what? What do you disagree about Kurt Angle? No, I said I just agreed with what he said about uh, you know how good Kurt Angle is. Like, oh, yeah, Kurt Angle was very underrated. The, the hostility yeah. is real. Kurt Angle's not underrated. Kurt Angle's not underrated. I, I I said his career was cut short. Nah, his his career wasn't cut short. That nigga just went to TNA. That's what happened. <laughs> yeah, that's what I mean. That's exactly what the fuck I mean. <laughs> Yeah, he had no business doing that. Exactly what I said. His career was no, no, no. cut short. Nah, no, there, was no, no, no. there was a reason. There was a reason. There was a nah, reason. It was a reason. It was. All, it's always a reason. Vince ain't shit. That's all I'm gonna say. Yeah, yeah. Let's, just hey, say let's, let's, let's talk about Roman Reigns saying he don't like CM Punk. <laughs> <laughs> and CM Punk can do absolutely nothing about it. <laughs> I mean, yeah, hey, isn't that I don't, I don't care all too much for the opinion of Roman Reigns, but hey. <laughs> No, nah, it, it was just funny to hear somebody yeah, else say yeah, that's that. the tribal yeah. chief. You better yeah, have That's a the tribal team. motherfucking chief. <laughs> Fuck him. <laughs> I told you his opinions are shit. <laughs> Roman Reigns only didn't even deserve uh, to no, get that title go. shot out the gate the way he, he did. I'm sorry. Here he goes. I'm sorry. <laughs> he didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that. Here he goes. Who is he going to give it to? Come on, let's, let, let, let's, hear, let's hear him out. Let's hear him I'm out. not hearing I shit. I done gave, I, I done left that beef between Braun Strowman and the Fiend instead of Roman Reigns getting having Roman Reigns getting nah, involved in that the way he did. Nah, first off, right. not to yeah. mention they were in the pro, they were supposed to have been. I'm thinking, okay, they're building this this big thing between Braun Strowman and the Fiend and Alexa Bliss, and then here, here comes motherfucking Roman Reigns. Like, uh, no, I think that you done ran. You really place. gonna just throw him? Into a, a um a title con- contention after he just up and vanished for how many months? Bruh, he had that is just he got back to IC title. He had cancer. What are you talking? I mean, about? but he never lost that though. To be fair, he yeah, technically he never did lose it. Bro, he, he had cancer, and Roman Reigns never did lose his. Technically, he, he did not lose his. Bro, he true. had Roman cancer. And he and he went to remission and made his comeback from his his break that deal with the cancer. How, how long ago? 